closing market comments for Wednesday, June the 2nd. Well, the markets continue to be volatile. We knew this year was going to be a tight one with the carryouts, and there was going to be a lot of volatility, and it is not disappointed. Yesterday, we saw a very strong day on rumors of dry weather, frost, and Chinese demand. Today, we saw the markets a little easier on some rainfall in some areas, but we've got a long way to go till we get this crop in, in the field ready to go to the bin, and it, we're going to see a lot of volatility as we continue. Crop conditions came out last night, and the first week for corn had the overall condition on corn at 76%, good to excellent. That's 2% better than a year ago, and uh, one of the better years that we've ever seen for this early rating. Indiana was 74%, up from 68 last year. Illinois at 80%, up from 56 last year. Ohio at 79, up from 62 last year. Michigan 63, up from 57. They are dry in Michigan. Iowa 81, up from 80 or down from 85 last year. Minnesota 76, down from 83. Nebraska 88, up from 82. South Dakota 67 down from 82 and North Dakota 48 down from 73. So again, you can see the dry weather having a big impact out there. Corn planting progress continues to move along at a good pace. Planting nationwide is at 95% up from 90% a week ago, 92% last year, 87% average. Indiana is at 94%. Illinois at 95, Ohio at 92, Michigan 95, Wisconsin 95, Iowa 99, Minnesota 99, Nebraska 97, South Dakota 98, and North Dakota 93. So again, excellent progress on the corn planting, and that is putting a little pressure on the market on the downside. Corn emergence also continues to be good. Uh, corn emerged in Indiana 76%, nationally we were at 81 Illinois at 86, Ohio at 70, Michigan 79, Wisconsin 77, Iowa 87, Minnesota 89, Nebraska 84, South Dakota 82, and North Dakota 63. This great emergence also caused a problem when we had frost over the weekend up in the upper states, and we'll have to see what damage, if any, that has over the uh, going forward. On the soybean side, we had uh, soybean planting uh, improved and was at 84%, uh, a little below what expected. Trade was expected a 90% number. Indiana was 86% planted, Illinois 89, Ohio 84, up 18%, Michigan 91, Wisconsin 91, Iowa 93, Minnesota 99, Nebraska 94, 92% uh, in South Dakota and 88% in North Dakota. Soybeans emerged only 62% uh, nationally. Indiana at 63, Illinois at 74, Ohio 58, Michigan 67, Wisconsin 63, Iowa 72, Minnesota 81%, Nebraska 69, South Dakota 65, North Dakota 45. So again, you look at 81% of the beans up in Minnesota, frost would definitely be a problem. So We'll have to see as we go forward what the impact is on some of those things as, as this market develops. Uh, just a lot of time to go. Winter wheat conditions continue to be good overall in the eastern corn belt, poor in the western corn belt as you would expect. Uh, overall condition 48% good, up one, down from 51% last year. Indiana is at 73% up one, Illinois 87% up one, Ohio 77% up three, Michigan down two at 66, and Wisconsin up three at 90. Compare that to the hard red winter wheat states in the West, Texas 23%, Oklahoma 57, Kansas 61, Nebraska 53, South Dakota 31, and North Dakota 30. So you can see obviously problems in the West, dragging the overall acreage and winter wheat conditions down, but good conditions in the East. We have potential here for a really big wheat crop, and the question is going to be where we're we going to put it all and who's going to buy it. A lot of talk about feed demand on wheat, but the problem is, is by the time we get wheat off, corn prices could be lower and it won't be as big a deal. So we'll have to see as that goes forward. Otherwise, weather continues to be the factor in this market, and you're just going to have to watch this weather. It's the time of year we're going to be watching weather from now till August. Uh, good weather reports, good rainfall is going to be positive. To the crop negative to the price and vice versa so just watch this thing 
Uh, keep in mind, uh, great opportunities to sell stuff at good prices. Don't miss the opportunity because you're worrying about getting the, hop, the top price. The other thing, uh, we do have a WASD report coming out next Thursday, June 10th. So new numbers coming out of that report. We'll have to see. The acres shouldn't change. Acreage report won't come out until July. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.